Hey guys, good evening, happy Monday. So today, I'm opening Neon Genesis Evangelion. So I'm really excited because I got this at a secondhand store that I frequent a lot here in Japan. It's called a uh, Hard Off, and the name is, it's, it's a little goofy, it's a little goofy. But yeah, I go there a lot and I normally stick to like, the cheaper end of games I you know maybe like under two sen which is like 20 USD but I love me some Evangelion I love it so I was very excited to find this and there were actually two versions of it one of which was not including cards which I didn't even know this had cards but yeah the first version didn't have cards and it was a little bit cheaper but this one has cards and it doesn't just have cards it has, I hope you can see this, hold up, Cardass Masters. Cardass Masters. Yeah. Anyways, so there's lots of good stuff in this lovely little box that was far more expensive than what I normally pay for a game. So, it, it wasn't that bad. It was 6 sen? 6,000 yen? So about... 55 60 US dollars But I'm really excited. Anyways, I really love Evangelion. I really love N64. It's a match made in heaven. Let's go. Let's pop this bad boy open. So, this guy, if you can see how shiny that is, is sealed. Not factory sealed, but it's still fancy. So I'm going to take it. Let's open it up. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about, and I think I said this last week when I was opening uh, Mario 64, is that secondhand games here, even if they're like super, super old, super well-loved, we'll say, are still like immaculately packaged, which is shocking to me, especially because N64 comes in like the paper cardboardy boxes, you know? So it's super surprising to me that things are still so well taken care of. Like I... <sighs> I definitely don't have any American N64 games that I would have had when I was a kid. So, thanks paper boxes. Like GameCube and like more sturdy, just gonna throw that over there, uh, sturdier boxes. I, I was able to save those. I didn't mess those up too bad, but like this, it has a teensy tiny bit of damage. Teensy, teensy tiny. It's not too bad though. So, crisp as heck. So crisp, it's crispy. All right. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so it opens, oh, that's interesting. Like this is a little tiny pedantic thing, but it opens from the front. Normally boxes open, what? right there. Not this one. It opens from the front, okay. Just a little pedantic thing. Ah, it's got my plastic in it that I love. I talked about this last week too. I love the plastic because it's immaculate. Wow, amazing how people can keep such delicate containers in such great condition. I will never know, but good on them. I appreciate your sacrifice for it is my gain. My gain nax, <laughs> cause that's the company that did Evangelion, okay. So first we have, wow, the cartridge, amazing. So yeah, it's exciting. So this is the cart if I can get my camera to focus on it. Yeah, Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's cool, it's from Bandai. Japanese on the back. ooh -wee. very cool. Alrighty, so next, we've got the cards. I paid 10 extra dollars for these bad boys, so please be great or I will feel sad. All right, so first we have, oh, hold on, let me set this stuff. To the side. Ooh, I don't think these have ever been opened before. Sacrilege. Oh! Hold up. It's this thing. What is that called? Holographic? I don't know, but I love it. That's what I know. Look at it. Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing, he's dancing. Oh, it, oh, it goes this way. You can see it better. There we go. Now he's more fighting rather than dancing, but it's it's pretty fresh. It's pretty fresh. That's really cool. 
Okay, and then, oof, on the back. Not for sale. But I bought it. Don't tell Japan. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice. Mecha Naisu. Alright, next card we have... Little Baby Shinji. Little, sorry, it's a little bit glossy, so I'm gonna kind of like angle it so you can't really lose any detail from uh, that shine, though. Look at that. Shine bright like a diamond. So yeah, Little Baby Shinji card. Looking, you know, sad and stuff, as Shinji is ought to do. Backside is just the backside. There's nothing really exciting. It's I think it's roughly similar to the backside of the other one. Alrighty. And card number three is this guy again. Look at that silly little robot. Yeah, nothing too exciting. Man, no best girls. That's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it because I got... Whoa. Ava dance party. Look at him go. Look at him go. Nice. So these are these are super cool. I'm glad that I paid the extra ten dollars. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Oh, and you know what? That's like plastic. That's not card material. That's like actual plastic. Swanky. That's really cool. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Besides, you know, put it back in its box and and look at it like. But it's cool nonetheless. Okay. Next we have my favorite. It's the plastic. It's so nice. Look at, look at this nice plastic. When did this game come out? 98? So what, this game is 22 years old? This box is 22 years old and this plastic? Immaculate. Good job, Japan. You can do plastic right. Okay, what else, what else? We have the General N64. How to plug it in. Exciting. But this looks different from the Super Mario one, so maybe I am now a collector of fine Nintendo 64 literature, like this. So next up, we have, oh, you see this? This is for my eyes only, so you guys can't look. I'm just gonna have to describe it to you. So this is Nerve, Yokoso, welcome, Nihongo Jyozu. Alrighty, so yeah, this is just the manual. It looks like we've got some nice pictures we've got some story that I am NOT going to attempt to read in my very very poor Japanese at the moment but uh, I have not played this game I know nothing about this game so I'm going into everything completely blind what I do know comes from like Wikipedia and I know that it stems from the original anime in the 90s uh, and goes into end of Evangelion so if you're familiar with that that's this game and supposedly half of it is like a side scrolling like Ava's fighting, you know, angels and whatnot. Um and the other half is a mystery per se. I don't know. It's like every I think every level is different if it's not the side scroller. So you know as much as I do, I know nothing about it besides the fact that it's got best girl Asuka in it, so anyways, maybe I can find some semblance of controls in this manual, let's see, yeah, so we've got story, so how to use the N64 controller. There's a story mode, a simulation mode, and an option mode. Okay, anyways, we've got some stuff. We've got some Japanese. Oh yes, Naruhodo, Okarimashita, uh, uh, Naruhodo, okay. So yeah, looks like there's missions and you pilot the Eva, you yell at Shinji to get in the robot, I hope so. And that is about it. I'm really excited. This looks super cool. I'm really stoked. At first I was kind of worried like, maybe I shouldn't have gotten the cards. Is it really worth the extra, extra $10? These two aren't, but oh my God, I've already lost it. Hold on. This guy, Dance Party Ava, absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm really excited. It's gonna be super cool. And yeah, there you have it guys. That is my unboxing for this week. I was really excited to find this game. It looks really cool. Hopefully the gameplay is as cool as I think it is. I've seen some ratings. They're all right. 
they're all right. They exist. It's a game. So hopefully my uh, my weebness for the anime will overshadow any shortcomings in the game version. But on the bright side, even if this game is bad, when I was looking up, uh, you know, just anything about this game, I discovered there is a whole wide world of Evangelion games, including one that is made by a company that also makes a game called Princess Simulator. And, or princess Simulator? Princess, princess, princess something. Princess Caretaker? It's something like that. Anyways, it's called Raising Ayanami. And you, like, just take care of Rei and you feed her. I'm pretty sure you bathe her and you just do all of these things. And you, 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 you raise her like a little Tamagotchi. So that's exciting. So yeah, there's a whole, uh, there's a whole wide world of Evangelion games. And a lot of them are for PS2 because I feel like there are most of the weird games in Japan were on PS2. So I'll probably pick up some of those eventually if I ever see them. I've never seen any of them in the wild, but if I do, I'm gonna get them. Alrighty, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna get Evangelion set up, y'all, and I will be right back. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube or come join me at twitch.tv slash where I am streaming retro games three days a week.